Hello and welcome back to my channel. Quick two things before I start the video. Uh, I know I missed last week filming a video. That's just because we were super busy and um, it will actually be going up hopefully midweek. <laughs> um, but this will be coming out after so you would have already seen it. Second thing is this video is going to be a really chatty video. So I'm really sorry if you don't like chatty videos. Um, but yeah. This video is about Cooper's ear infection, which has been a battle for the past six plus months. Because Cooper is a retriever, and I know golden retrievers, lab retrievers, and just any dogs with really big floppy ears are very prone to ear infections. We have dealt with ear infections in the past, especially since I did also previously have a lab. I have never seen in my lifetime, and I have had two labs now and I have also worked with animals before and I've never seen an ear infection this bad on a dog. First when we took him in back in January to get his ear infection checked out, they gave us the Burrow solution which is a standard ear infection medication. You put the drops in their ears and they should start feeling better within about two days and it should go away fairly quick. We noticed with Cooper after putting the Burrow solution it wasn't getting any better and it was actually getting worse it seemed. Um, we kept putting it in until the solution bottle was completely empty just in case and it still didn't get any better. We went back to the vet where they put us on a new medication which was Suralan. Um, and I just have the bottle here. They put us on Suralan which is another eardrop and you put this in, I don't know, but we put this eardrop in I think two or three times a day um, into his ear. His ear wasn't getting any better, it was still getting worse. Uh, we tried to use the whole bottle but it started getting really bad where he, his one ear would be lower, he'd be walking with a tilted head, blood was coming out of it, pus was coming out of it, it was full with black crud. I will put a picture up here just to show. Um, and this picture was actually when we started getting it treated, so this isn't even as bad as it was. I couldn't take a picture because we literally couldn't lift open his ear without him whining and crying. It was horrible and it was so sad. We went back to the vet and said none of this is working. He started getting ulcers in his ear because he was scratching at it. He was always crying. He was upset. He wasn't himself. Um, I'll post another picture here. I posted on Instagram that he just was not the Cooper that he usually is. To the vet where they thought they'd put us on another treatment which was actually something new that they haven't tried a lot yet but it was actually to insert tubes in down to Cooper's ear canal. Two insertions had to be um, placed in. One was the first, which would last for seven days. Um, you can't clean the ear, you can't touch the ear, just, and he couldn't go in water, which was hard for him because he's a water dog. So had to let it take its course, and then exactly seven days later, we had to go back to the vet to do another tube, which was supposed to last 45 days. After seven days after the first one, the ears started to actually look a lot better. So we were so excited, we were so hopeful. We went back to the vet to get the second tube in. Um, we got the second tube inserted and then about five to seven days later, it just started getting extremely worse. This time it was getting so worse, there was blood just coming up constantly. It was completely full of black gook that it was all in his fur. It was so bad and I was felt so defeated because I felt so bad for him and so upset for him. He's been dealing with this now in total for six months and we can't seem to find a solution. So we went back to the vet again um, and they thought that they would put him on this extremely strong medication that they usually don't put on dogs. The vet said that what he had was like a super bug that was created. He had three different kinds of bacteria that usually don't form together, together. They were gonna try this medication before they took it to the next step, which was taking a swab, bringing it to a lab, and having the lab create a medication specific just for his own ear infection to fight it. The vet did prescribe us one more ear drop, which um, she was hopeful that would work so we didn't have to do the whole lab situation. She then prescribed us Momentemax. Um, which is antibiotic and anti-inflammatory. It is extremely, extremely strong. <laughs> um, but that's just it there. Um, and we had to do put this in his ear just once a day, once at night. And she wanted us to just put it in for seven days at first. We were coming back to the vet every single Monday for about 
two months. Um, not only just to come back for switching his medication, but the vet just wanted to keep an eye on it. This in his ear for seven days straight and the difference was phenomenal. Now I don't want to get my hopes up because there was a difference with the last tube and then it just went even more downhill. Um, but the difference was incredible. We went back seven days later. The vet said that the three types of bacteria had now only gone down to one type of bacteria, so it killed off the two completely. She wanted us to keep using this um, until the whole bottle was gone, and of course come back for more checkups just to keep an eye on it. I wanted to make this video for a while because I know that a lot of people struggle with ear infections for their dogs, and when this was going on, I was YouTubing and Googling and trying to figure out what to do, and all this other stuff. I reached out on Instagram, I used all the tips and tricks, apple vinegar, this and that, and I clean it religiously. Nothing was working and I was so frustrated. We're done the bottle of medication now. It hasn't completely gone away. We have gone back to get a little bit more, but the vet said that it pretty much killed off everything. Now we're just working on the anti-inflammatory of the ear because it was just so raw and sore from all that grossness and bacteria and pain. I am so relieved that we finally found something that can kill it and we were on top of it. And not to mention, his ear is back up, which I haven't seen in like six months. If your dog has ever had an ear infection, let me know down below if it was as crazy as this one or as bad as this one. Every dog's different, which I actually learned every ear infection is different. There's different types of bacteria, which I had no idea. I kind of thought it was just all mainstream. I just made this video because I know six months ago I would have wanted to watch a video like this with all this information and just to know that it can be treated even though it took six months time because I was getting pretty defeated and feeling really upset for Cooper. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like and subscribe <laughs> and share this video if you know of anyone who is struggling with a dog's ear infection and is getting frustrated because even though it took six months, we did beat it. Thanks for watching. Bye.